So, so Schrodinger, and I'm well in line with Schrodinger's viewpoint on this. Einstein took a rather similar view. In fact, Dirac did too, even though he didn't, he didn't enunciate that. You have to see what his later, he didn't say much about what he thought about quantum mechanics, but he took a rather similar view. You see, quantum mechanics is incomplete. Right, right. Because right, right. it doesn't explain the collapse of the wave function. The Schrodinger equation is a, a smooth, continuous evolution of the state, yeah. but it's not what you get when yeah. you make a measurement. Yeah. When you make a measurement, which asks for broadening the system a bit to include the measuring apparatus and all that, why doesn't it follow the Schrodinger equation? And that worried Schrodinger very much. <laughs> and um, it seems to me this is the, is the gap that's not present in all the other theories. See, all the other theories right up to the point, even including the Schrodinger equation or the evolution, unitary evolution in quantum mechanics, they are all things you could put on a computer. So where is there something that you couldn't maybe put on a computer? And the argument I was making here is that it's in the collapse of the wave function. Right. So there is some process, and I'm not taking the view as many people did in the early days of quantum mechanics, that it's the conscious observer looking at the system and observing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the sort of terminology which suggests it's that. Yeah. Observing the system. No, I don't believe that. that you, it doesn't really work when you think about it in detail. I won't get into that, but, but it certainly doesn't really work. So I don't believe it's that. However, it's a different role for consciousness, the, almost the opposite. That whatever consciousness is depends <clears throat> upon what this currently unknown, but we know something about it, which is to do with seeing how general relativity relates to quantum mechanics. Right. But it's the other way around. It's not how you quantize general relativity, which is what many of my colleagues try and do. Right. It's the opposite. How you gravitize quantum mechanics. You try to put the principle of equivalence, these great principles of Galileo, into the theory and the Einstein way of resolving these principles of Galileo into, a, into an overall theory and imposing that on quantum mechanics. And you can see when you look at this that the arguments tell you that with certain mass displacements, that the, the superposition of it being in one position or another has to go to one or the other in a certain time scale. Yep. And that time scale you can estimate. Yeah. And so this, I claim, is what's going on in the brain.